But, like, people don't want to play it out. They're just little bitches about it. And they're like, oh, I'm not done. I don't want to play this game because you mold the five and you have a better opener than me. Like, I, I dropped the five five on turn two and lost the game there. Like, just straight up lost the game. Because there was no good targets for my Desecration Demon. Because, like, obviously in a mirror you don't want to target either player. But, whatever. Um, hmm. Let's draw a new hand here. That one's better. I like that hand. We can keep that hand. It's not perfect, by any means. But, it is interesting. Very, very, very interesting deck. He's running like 70 cards, so makes me feel a little bit better. Um, we don't have any way to reanimate our dudes yet, so I might... No. We could discard our demon and reanimate him for 3 mana, which isn't bad. That's not a bad thing. Get in there for five damage real early, but we need to draw one of our like 800 re uh, return abilities. Now we want to distress next turn. And let's say I don't think you want to attack because I can respond and do whatever I feel like. Let's distress you. Um. I mean, ultimately, you have nothing. So I'm going to at least prevent you from getting anything next turn. Um, but, yeah, so one of, one of our uh, reanimation spells would have been nice in our opener. But if we have a discard outlet, I feel like we kind of got to keep the hand and hope that we can draw what we need. Um, now with me seeing your entire hand here, is that really a smart idea? Yeah, well, I, I don't like how it doesn't give you, like, an option to respond to that, because... Like, obviously I want it to. But, like, as soon as you block, like, there should be another phase after the blocker is declared. Because it doesn't feel fluid. Like, when you clear an attacker, like, it goes into that transition thing where it's like, okay, now the blockers are being declared. And with that, it just kind of, like, continues to run the timer as soon as you drop it. I don't know. It, it doesn't feel feel right to me, but... Um, ultimately, we just need to draw into our single target removal here or into you know our big dudes I wanted to discard the big guy but I mean ultimately I think we're okay with where we are I mean even even if we get if we can get another discard outlet or a way to draw and discard cards or something something somewhere we can do some good stuff <laughs> I know that the other, the only other card in his hand is Coat of Arms, which sucks greatly for us. But at the same time, you know, if we if we see a living end or a living death, you know, we win the game just straight up. He gets a gilt a gilt clover scout, and I get my putrid imp back, and we're just sitting there battling it off with one ones until I drop my big things. Um, or we do this, and I just take three damage a turn or five damage a turn. <laughs> Um, so we'll get rid of his coat of arms. Finish. Confirm. And then next turn we'll drop a 5-5. Five, five. I don't care if it dies. And then if he just draws a land, it doesn't drop a creature. You know, he can't keep up with our 5-5. Five, five. He can't attack, or he's going to lose another creature. And he also risks losing his good guy, his good creature. So, I don't think we're, we've are we lost this game yet. I don't think it's good for us. I don't think discarding a creature earlier would have helped us either. But, 
at the same time. It's the official more info on on Earth. Only cast is a sorcery. Sorcery. Okay. So let's see what happens here. That's kind of dumb that it's a non-land card. I think, I mean, I feel like it's not that, at the, at the point that you can cast it, even if you sneak it into field, or into the field, it just doesn't matter. I will trade that if you decide to attack with it. I think that's what he realized. I think he went, oh shit. Really? And I do that to get in for five damage? Okay. And you greatly weaken all of your elves for that. I don't know if that was. I don't know if that was worth it for you. We can see our graveyard. That's nice. Oh, so we'll get a 6-5 out there now. We'll attack him. Like, I feel like this is a game that you might leave. Like, he's got seven lands, two creatures, and one card in his hand now. And, like, even a very good card right now does not win it for him. Large, Ranker, okay. Again, I will block it. I'm okay with that, because then I get to look at four cards in my graveyard. I will block. I'm not stupid, because it also has no benefit at this point in the game. Yes, I wish to use that ability. Yes, I wish to use that ability. Any good creatures? Rexiel. We get a Rexiel. We get a, or we could get a Silent Blade with our body double. Neither one of those is bad. I kind of like Kaiga better. Ultimately. And then... <laughs> Kaiga does good things for people. Kaiga does real good things for people sometimes. Not quite as good as Kakusho. Or Yose. But Kaiga still does good stuff for people. Right, you say not so much. Um I mean ultimately I don't think you drew a reach creature, so I win. So good game. You can continue to play elves, but it does not matter. Ooh, you could do really stupid stuff with the Extractor Demon and the Living Death. If you can get enough creatures on the field, and your opponent had enough creatures, you could just mill them out and just get victory that way. I did not think of that as an alternative win condition, but it definitely is. Oh, maybe not. Whenever, oh no, whenever another creature leaves the battlefield. It would work that way. Oh, so we'll do one more game after this, because I try and do three with the new deck. I'm pretty happy with it so far. We don't really seem to have a problem drawing cards. We might need to fix the mana base a little bit, but this game, it didn't really bother us. I was just going to adjust numbers as far as number of swamps, number of islands. Um, but, like, this was even a game that we did not draw good at. You know, we, we drew Distress, and we removed one of his threats. Um, and ultimately, he drew a better threat. Um, he drew a couple too many lands. But, all in all, um, I don't think it was bad for us. I don't know what he's doing. I, I don't understand why people are like, I'm tapped out. He's got 10 mana, or 10 power. He's just going to attack me and kill me. Like, I don't know what there is to think about. I don't know why you bothered even rankering. I saw every card you revealed with your messenger. 
you know, I, I know you're not feigning anything, so you might as well have just been like, oh yeah, I'll just pass the turn because I don't have any way to stop the 10 damage that's hitting me in the face. Um, I wonder why it keeps telling me I unlocked a card, because I definitely did not unlock a card, because I have all 40 cards unlocked. Um, let's see uh, if we can get into this game. We probably aren't. The joys of the PC version of this game. You'd think with as big as MTGO is, that the PC version would actually get a little bit more credit, especially when the uh, Steam promo was the uh, scavenging news. Like, I would rather play on my... Well, I mean, that's me personally, too, though, is I'd rather play on my computer than my console. Even though I'm getting the new consoles, I would still rather play on a PC than a console. You know, I like having the consoles because they're consoles, but... Oh, this is, like, such a good hand. He plays first. We're on the draw. Oh, I don't think I can say no to this hand. Yeah, we keep it. We keep it and hope that he's not playing black. He's playing black. Or he's playing the mirror. Um, so that could lead to very bad things for us very quickly. I will get my own putrid imp out there. And that will kind of... That should kind of discourage him from trying to get something out early and exhume. Um, but... That should, pre pre that should prevent the I'm going to discard a card and exhume here. But he's going to discard. And is he going to exhume? Yup. Good game, my friend. Good game. You know, you really can't cast anything in my yard. And now we draw the big guy? Nope. Um, let's grab... Second black mana. Now oh, he does get to cast that, which sucks. I mean, I feel like this is the game that I just leave because, like, I don't have any way to compete with this early, early aggression. But we'll get, we'll give it another card or two before I'm just like, yep, I lose. Because I mean, I could just, you know, take this damage here straight to the face, and then draw something decent. But he's probably going to, you know, play my Consult the Necros Ages, which sucks. Um, draw two cards on his part. And then do whatever he wants. Yep, that, I mean, that's the right play. And so if we don't draw a way to reanimate something now... You're making me discard two cards? Please, bitch, I'll discard two cards. <laughs> I'll discard two Doom Blades. Thank you. You should have drawn two. And that's nothing, I mean... You know, we, we're not able to win this game. So, I mean, unfortunately, I'm going to leave the game. Um, but that game's decided already. You know, he wins turn four. Um, so we'll play another game, because that really wasn't a game. You know, I, I bitch about people leaving too early, and people not wanting to finish a game, but, like, that's two more turns that, you know, I'm just going to sit there and I can't do anything. Like, there's no point in me wasting my time there. Oh, this one's this one's close to a hand that you keep. I don't think we draw a new one though. What is that? I mean, we'll keep that because it's got some deck thin. It's got all of our islands, and we can consult on turn three. Let's say so as long as we don't play the mirror again, and then we can do really stupid things with his uh, guilt cloak or with his uh, elf deck with the living death. This this is shaping up a little bit nicely. Just a little bit nicely. Not not tremendously nicely, but a little bit nicely. Um, we Evolving Wilds again next turn to grab a Swamp. We've thinned the deck out two, so two Swamps. We're taking a little bit of damage in the process, but we get our Putrid Imp out there. Um, ultimately, what we want to do is we want to consult as soon as possible. As soon as we can consult... And hopefully get him down to you know, several lower cards. And us get some bigger cards out. Then we can focus on getting the Living Death going. 
Um, and this might make him prevent, or this might prevent him from attacking with his uh, Glade Clover Scout. We might just take the uh, the two to the face here, unless he like rankers or something. But you know, if we can get him down several cards lower, consult for us, draw draw a couple cards, discard what we need, and then ultimately hit the living death and just wipe his board, get a ton of dudes out there and just win the game. That's what I want to do. That's what we want to do. Living death is so good. Five mana, just exile everything on the field and return to your, or re return all creatures in the graveyard. Awesome. That's not bad. I'm okay with this so far. We'll block there. Like I said, we'll take the take the two. I do have another one. Like I said, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about it. Consult the Necrosages. How about target player draws two cards? Me. Let's reanimate and another land. That's not good. We might need to put more bigger creatures back in this deck, but I don't know what we want to take out. Like, the counter swalls are very important. The putrid imps and the exhumes and the reanimates are very important. Um, you know, the numbers are very, very tight. You might as well have just attacked with a 2 2. I don't know why you decided to tap an extra land to do that, but okay. I mean, we really need to draw something this turn, if we can. Something big, something scary that we can discard. It's not something big or something scary that we can discard. However, I do have my count or my undermine, and I will chump block with that. You know, I can undermine if he decides to drop. What, what would he drop that I'd be terrified of? Coat of Arms? But if he drops a creature, I'm just going to let him drop the creature. I'll take like 8 damage. I don't care. Um, and then we Living Death, and then he's got a Clay Clover Scout, and I've got a Doom Necromancer and two Putrid Imps. Not good. That's for sure. Like, I don't even know... Like, I, I don't even think the Doom Necromancer is worth discarding, but... That may very well give up my my plan, but I don't think we have another option either way. But he may try and keep the aggression on and drop another creature or two. No, he just ends his turn. Okay. I guess the ultimate question here is whether or not he can... Never another... Or another permanent is put into the graveyard from a battlefield. To a graveyard. Into the bat... Put in onto the battlefield from a graveyard, draw a card. Uh, whenever a player casts a spell from a graveyard, draw a card. Um... No, I don't think I block here, unless he plays something else, but he doesn't seem like he wants to play something else. So I don't block here. I take the 5-7, and then I Living Death. Oh no. Oh no, that's fine. I don't think I'm going to draw cards off the Living Death, though, which is weird. Okay, sweet. Ultimately, I wanted to make it a better trade for us. And that, that, that there did it.
River Kelpie comes back. Draw a card. And we pass the turn. I think that's what he was worried about. And honestly, we're not in a good position. Um, not in a good position at all. Definitely not in a good position. Unless he whiffs here. But then that's still just... No. Not great for us. Seven mana. For six, I could get this guy in there. Cast one of his cards. came up. I guess that's probably because the card that's the card of concern. Um, how much mana does he have? Five? So he's not going to get a chance to catch, cast that. Um, but at the same time I can cast it for free and put it on one of my putrid imps. <laughs> Look, so that's not a bad option. I think it may have been better on the uh, other guy. I think that would have been the correct play because I think that would have forced him to block. But, oh well. Live and learn. Oh, well, that seems like a mistake. Well, no, it's not. It puts me at one. That was a mistake, though, because it doesn't kill me. Interesting. Confirm. Earth. Okay. Uh, let me discard a creature card. I discard a card from my hand. Let's go right the undermine. And then we attack for 14 and win. So even my terrible mistake, we're still gonna pull out ahead. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Not mean to sneeze into the microphone. No, overall, I like both decks. I think both are worth the uh, couple bucks it is to buy the thing. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the decks. Let me know what changes you'd make. Um, I know I didn't go back in and look at both of them, but uh, you know, hopefully you followed along when I was talking about them early on. Um, I'm sure that some nice person will be kind enough to make the uh, list and post it in the comments because they're awesome like that. Um, but again, let me know what you guys think. And... Uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.